Second chapter is one of the easier chapters in this book. The main uh, concept is the productivity measures. So we have a homework and uh, based on that and the change in productivity uh, is another one. So I'm going to discuss about the productivity measures. I have noticed that some of you are still struggling with the homework. It's a pretty easy one. So in product, first to start with what is the difference between strategy and tactics? Strategy defines your long-term goals and how you are planning to achieve them. In other words, your strategy gives you the path you need to, towards achieving uh, your organization's mission. Tactics are much more con concrete and are often towards smaller steps and shorter time frames along the way. They are also called initiatives. So strategy is more concrete and long term. Strategy and tactics work together as a means to end. So you should have a strategy. Tactics is more smaller steps. Strategy and tactics always have to be in line with each other. You have a long term plan and your steps should be in line with that one to achieve the end goal. Regarding productivity, productivity is defined as outputs to inputs. So in this chapter, we will be dealing with different types of productivity. Sometimes a total productivity is considered, sometimes partial productivity is considered, sometimes multi-factor productivity is considered. So uh, calculated and so we have to know all the difference between these three and how to do the problems. Partial productivity in that case you are looking at one of the measures right in this case labor productivity we are looking at output by labor output by you know, capital productivity output by capital and so on output by materials or output by energy in that case we are looking at the partial measures. When you are looking at total measures, we are taking everything. That is, total output produced by the total inputs consumed. Or in the service sector, goods and services produced and all resources used. In multi-factor productivity, we are looking at output with couple of the measures. Like in this case, output by labor plus capital plus energy or output plus by divided by labor, sum of the labor, capital and materials. A simple example is given in the textbook. In this case we have output which are finished goods, work in progress and dividends that gives the total output. The inputs are the labor, material, capital, energy and other expenses and the total output input is uh, $15,193. If you are looking at a total measure, we are giving us looking at total output by total input, in this case 13,500 by 15,193. If you are looking at multi-factor measures, we are looking at couple of factors together and comparing it with output. In that case, for example, if you are looking at <coughs> labor uh, and material and Looking at the productivity of that, you are looking at total output by labor per material, sum of the labor and material, and uh, in, the, in this case it is 4.28. If you are comparing the productivity with respect to finished goods with the labor and material, the multi factor becomes you are looking at different factors, that is, multi different factors, that's it. Finished goods, if you are looking at the finished goods productivity with respect to labor and material productivity, it's finished goods by labor and material. Partial measures, in that case, we are looking at one of the measures. For example, here, total output by energy or finished goods by energy. So in this case, only we are looking at one of the measures, that is energy, and finding out the productivity measure. There are Partial measures of productivity examples are in restaurants, customers meal per labor hour, or retail score, uh, store, it is sales per square foot, chicken farm, pound of meat per pound of feed, or things like that. 
and we have a excel worksheet in exhibit 2.5 you can also use excel to find out the productivity it is the same thing again if it's a total measure you are looking at total outputs that is 13000 c11 that is 13500 by total input that is 15193 in multi factor third or measures we are looking at c11 what is the c11 that is total output by c14 and c15 c14 and c15 are human material uh, human uh, cost or labor and the material cost and similarly you can easily see what exactly is happening here in this case you are looking at c6 that is finished units with respect to we are doing multi factor measures where productivity is compared with respect to the finished goods or finished units in that case c6 by c14 that is labor plus and the material and so on and for example the partial measure example is uh, total outputs by with respect to energy that is divided by 540 c11 by c17 here in this case c6 which is uh, finished goods divided by c17 that's energy so the productivity with respect to uh, finished goods or finished units so this is a pretty simple example once you understand this thing you can easily do the uh, homework please don't waste any more time go ahead and do the homework good luck